Modern commercial cooking appliances pose new and difficult fire extinguishment problems. Here we have a local fire department attempting to extinguish a deep fat fryer fire with hand portable extinguishers. As you can see from their expressions, the fire is much more difficult than they anticipated. In a futile attempt to extinguish the fire, they used a total of five 20-pound dry chemical extinguishers and one 10-pound CO2 extinguisher. A two-inch hose line was finally used to cool the fire down. NFPA 10, Standard for Portable Fire Extinguishers, 1998 edition, and Underwriters Laboratories Incorporated recognize that commercial cooking fires and deep fat fryer fires in particular are unique and are completely different, surprisingly more difficult to extinguish than more common flammable liquid fires. In recognition of this problem, a new classification of fire has been established, Class K. The term grease has been removed from the NFPA 10 Class B symbol. The definition of Class B hazards in NFPA 10 1998 edition refers specifically to petroleum grease. Both of these changes were made because cooking media fires are now considered a separate class of fire. Amerix Corporation, the largest manufacturer of fire extinguishers for commercial and industrial use and the first in the fire equipment industry to be registered under ISO 9000, recognized a potential problem when dry chemical extinguishers are used on cooking medium fires involving modern commercial cooking equipment. The need for better hand portable fire extinguishers in commercial kitchens became evident. To give some background to this unique problem, let's look at some live fire tests that simulate new UL test procedures. All of these tests use a deep fat fryer having a vat measuring 18 inches by 18 inches or 2.25 square feet. The vat is filled with a new liquid shortening and heated to no less than 685 degrees, at which point auto ignition occurs. With the heat source still on, the fryer is allowed to burn freely for one minute. Then the heat source is shut off and the extinguisher is activated. An intermittent discharge application was used to simulate what might be expected from a novice operator. Suppression is achieved no less than 10 times, but the shortening continues to reignite. This is the same dry chemical agent that is required in NFPA 10 prior to the 1998 edition. This same extinguisher earned a UL fire rating of 40 BC by extinguishing a 100 square foot heptane fire. Our test fryer is only 2.25 square feet, 2.25 square feet. The combination of the fryer's insulation, the high auto ignition temperature of the shortening, and the lack of cooling from the dry chemical results in failure to extinguish this fire. This difference in square footage between the fryer demo test and the actual UL40B test fire clearly demonstrates that fryer fires are completely different from common flammable liquid fires. This difference had to be accounted for and overcome. Recognizing that water extinguishers may be present in some restaurants for the protection of Class A hazards, and since sprinklers are allowed for the protection of cooking appliances, we ran another test using a two and a half gallon pressurized water extinguisher with the following results. The operator was standing back approximately 18 feet from the fryer and still had burning shortening splash on his protective clothing. It made little difference whether a straight stream or a broken pattern was used. Our third test fire used the same 18 inch by 18 inch deep fat fryer with a one minute fuel on preburn. For this test, we used a 20 pound sodium bicarbonate based dry chemical extinguisher rated 120 BC which substantially exceeds the requirements of all NFPA 10 Class B fire protection recommendations. It should be noted that the UL test fire for the 120B rating is a 300 square foot pan fire containing a two inch layer of heptane. Again, our test fire is only 2.25 square feet. The operator uses good application technique by splitting the front edge of the fire, achieving fast suppression. Discharge stops when the operator can no longer see. It should be noted that during the test, 
an 8,000 CFM exhaust fan was running, and a loading dock door was open. Despite this, vision quickly became obscured. The fire stays out for a longer period of time, up to two minutes, but reignition occurs. Again, the heat retention properties of the deep fat fryer and the high auto ignition temperatures of the shortening proved to be too much for the dry chemical extinguisher to handle, and reignition occurs after the extinguisher has been emptied. The Amorex Model 260 wet chemical extinguisher has been tested and listed by underwriters laboratories for class K applications. The Model 260 contains six liters, approximately one and a half gallons, of a potassium-based solution. The solution is discharged through a fine mist spray nozzle and application wand, much like a wet chemical fix system. The fire is extinguished by the cooling effect of the liquid discharged as a fine spray, coupled with the smothering action of a soapy type foam which is created when the extinguishing agent comes in contact with the heated shortening. Reignition did occur after a few moments, but the fire is completely extinguished with a second application. The extinguisher instructions require the extinguisher to be discharged on the fire until empty for maximum cooling effect. You will further notice that the safety wand permits the operator to remain at a safe distance from the intense heat while allowing the spray pattern to be directed on top of the burning surface where it will provide maximum cooling. This test fire was easily extinguished and secured. Vision was not obscured during or after the discharge and no splashing of cooking grease occurred. Hundreds of live fire scenarios have proven the safety and effectiveness of the safety wand. Failure of dry chemical to extinguish fryer fires proves the necessity for a wet chemical K-listed extinguisher in commercial cooking operations. The Amorex Model 260 has been tested and listed under UL's new Class K fire tests. Additionally, it has passed the test for Class A, B, and C ratings to achieve a rating of 2A, 1B, C, K. While dry chemical extinguishers have failed to extinguish the Class K fires, the Model 260 extinguishes them easily. This means that the Model 260 is not only effective on Class K fires involving cooking medium, but it is also just as effective as a 2.5 gallon water extinguisher on Class A fires, has some effectiveness on Class B fires, and is safe to use around live electrical equipment. NFPA 10, 1998 edition states, 2-3.2, fire extinguishers provided for the protection of cooking appliances that use combustible cooking media vegetable or animal oils or fats shall be listed and labeled for Class K fires. No longer does NFPA 10 refer to a Class B rating or placement according to a Class B hazard and the term grease has been removed from the NFPA 10 Class B symbol. The Amorex Model 260 features a stainless steel cylinder, chrome plated brass valve, fine mist spray nozzle, high-tech composite wand and a five-year warranty. It is easy to operate, places agent only where you want it, and is easier to clean up afterwards. When considering the safety of restaurant personnel, the Model 260 is the easiest extinguisher to use, the easiest to train with, and the best possible extinguisher to use on not only cooking appliance hazards, but other hazards in the restaurant as well. The Amorex Model 260 the most versatile fire extinguisher in the world. Another first from the Amorex Corporation.